Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about TR and TE. Now TR stands for repetition time. TE stands for echo time. So in order to understand what's happening, let's start with TR. So TR is something that we have to look at. It's a parameter that we control, we can manipulate, and it controls T1 contrast in our image. So if we look at TR and what's happening to hydrogen, when we excite our patient, we deliver this RF pulse to our patient, we take hydrogen in the longitudinal plane and tilt it into the transverse plane. All right. So at that point, we get recovery, and our TE snaps a picture at a given period of time. All right. So we have this TR it's the beginning of our TR is excitation pulse. We're delivering energy to our patient. So if I were to draw this, I would say we deliver an RF pulse to our patient. Now this RF pulse is typically a 90 degree RF pulse, but it can be a 90 degree or less. But let's just call it a 90 degree RF pulse. So once I excite my patient, I wait a period of time and then I deliver another RF pulse. All right. Now we repeat this over and over again until we fill our data space, our K space. Now inside this, something needs to happen. All right. We're repeating this cycle, but we need to collect information from our patient. Now TR defines a period of time from one excitation pulse to the next. So this would be our TR. Right. Now we can manipulate this and depending on the image contrast we're trying to achieve, this might vary. All right. It's going to be a longer period of time for a T2 and a shorter period of time for a T1. Now when we look at this period of time, something needs to happen. We need to collect this data from our patient. We need to collect something from our patient. So what we do is we have an echo that's produced after excitation. And we have to time things perfectly with our gradients to make sure that we're collecting peak signal when we want to collect peak signal. Now, if I go ahead and put an echo in here, The time from our excitation pulse to our echo is called TE. So our TE is within this TR time. So I excite my patient, I wait a duration of time, collect an echo, and then repeat this process over and over again. I'm repeating, or there's a repetition time. And there's an echo I'm collecting, so there's an echo time from excitation to our echo. Now our echo time, TE, controls T2 contrast in our image. So it's a primary controlling factor for T2 contrast, whereas TR is a primary controlling factor for T1 contrast. So when we look at something like this, we're manipulating these two parameters to obtain either a T1 weighted image or a T2 weighted image, and we can talk about that in a little more depth later on. But this is TR and TE. We can select any type of period of time and that'll give us a specific image contrast in our image. But these are the controlling factors for image contrast. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.